the first stage is touch. Now to describe touch, um, I have an understanding of what I think touch is now. Um, my early days of the touch phase was basically anything phase. So my touch phase was basically touch, texture, color, anything phase. And my sense page was basically just one touch. What do I feel? Anything or what do I feel? Anything from the target. Um, I got, in my early days, I got some impressions. I got uh, temperature variations. I got uh, tightness in one arm. And, you know, they were very uh, subtle type changes. There, weren't, there wasn't any um, idea of what those impressions were at the time. Um, it's not like, oh, that feels like something or that feels like something. It very much is, oh, there's a difference. Oh, there's a difference here. Can I at least associate it with the target? Because my descriptors back then were very basic. And even with basic descriptors, you're not really describing much, but you can feel differences. Um, so my early days was very much, what do I feel? Can I relate it to the target? If I can, great. If I can't, it's all right. Keep going. Um, so touch now. Um, if I were to sort of articulate touch, it's very much density. Uh, you can feel density changes in the targets that you try and get impressions from. Um, intensely physical. So what I mean by that is that you can feel structure inside your body. So if it's a building or if it's a uh, some sort of structure, any sort of structure, a house or that sort of thing, you can feel uh, beams through your body. So you might feel uh, beams through your arms. You might feel walls. Um, when your arms are down on the, on the table, uh, this is my probe hand, so usually I do all the probing. This one sits idle next next door, and um, it's almost like the canvas. Like I might feel impressions through my body, but in my early days, I was getting nothing in my body. It was sort of like impressions on my arm, arms, and that was about it. There was there was no um, not what I get now is I feel structures in my head. I can uh, I can feel. Um, supports i can feel structures like shapes in my arms i can feel uh, things moving um what else have i got down so intensely physical things i can feel weight see if something's heavy or really light really light's really hard to try and distinguish but really heavy easy as because all you can feel is like when you're when you're sitting there probing this arm goes poof Oh, that's really heavy. Oh, I feel so strong. You know, you're feeling the building. Um, and that was my early days impressions where this, this one was the canvas. I did the probing and this guy did all the work. Sort of, this guy was reading it all. Um, so yeah, uh, weight and volume. If it's massive, you can sort of feel it expanding. You can feel those impressions where things are getting bigger or they're getting smaller. Um, yeah, so those are the kinds of dimensions that I can feel. Um, and if I were to try and uh, visualize, if I if I can bring up, I got little post-it notes. So touch, you can feel densities, you can feel structures, you can actually feel the object itself, the target. You know, you can feel those structures in your body. Um, you can feel them anywhere. So touch, that's, that's sort of the, the emblem I'm going to give it. It sort of looks like a buddy. Anyway, so touch. Um, what else have we got? So if I were to give it a statement of its motto or its statement for touch, made out of if the target was there, and you wanted to find out what it was made out of, 
you'd use touch to do that. So touch for me is made out of, and everything is internal, like within it, what it's made out of, the densities, the things that you can feel, the structures you can feel, touch. Um, let's touch. All right, let's go for the next guy, texture. <laughs> 